Okay, in this video, I want to go over uh, just some standard ways of being helpful advice, I guess, uh, being prepared for a show. Whether you're playing a show that's local or out of town, out of the country, or going on a tour, um, there's always stuff that can go wrong. And I mean, the better prepared you are, the less headaches there are, less stress. Uh, I've been playing recently a lot of shows out of the country. Uh, weekend here and there, a lot of festivals, and I'm going to be going on tour next month, and um, I found, like, I've developed a system to just make things less stressful, as it's usually a pretty stressful situation, uh, and being prepared, so you don't run into added stress. Um, one thing I found that helps is just make a simple checklist, write it all out, and don't do it at the last minute. Um, it's very easy to forget something very simple, and it could be a big problem. I mean, it could be anything from extra strings to this last, that's what I played over the weekend. I forgot my strap for my bass. And I mean, it, it, pretty chances are you're going to find someone who has a strap you can use, but it sometimes can be a problem. I've had that happen with a, or where a guitarist forgot his strap. And the opening band, sure, you can use it, but he had strap locks and they're installed on the strap and it couldn't just be taken off. So it was, um, just a little bit of a stressful situation. I lucked out. The guitarist in the band had an extra one and let me use it. Um, but, I mean, there's some main things you want to make sure you have ready to go. That's, of course, your instrument. Believe it or not, people have forgotten that stuff before. Uh, your cables, you know. Um, I use two cables on stage, so I take three to four with me. Uh, one to have a backup, but also one so I can keep it backstage if I want to plug into a tuner and have everything else ready to go. Uh, extra strings are very important. Uh, even for me uh, on bass, you don't break strings as much, but it can happen. And if it happens, I, I always have them in a... All the stuff I need to have on stage, I usually keep in my own sep in a separate bag. So there's no digging around in bags, or I left a bag at a hotel or something. It's all there, ready to go. Um, batteries, you know, if you're using any tuner pedals or uh, active pickups, you want to make sure you have batteries because you never know when they die. Uh, tuner. Hopefully you have one on stage, um, but also it's good to have something backstage so you can tune before you go on stage. Uh, other helpful things are like, uh, you know, if you have uh, something you could plug into, like uh, with iPhones, I can't wait for them to make it for Android. You can get something like iRig or something where you can just plug into your, your smartphone and headphones, of course, you can hear your own sound. Uh, it's good for warming up or practicing or even tuning in some situations. Um, and like I said, I keep all this stuff, you know, in... I have it here. I, it's a little messy. just got back from a show, but I have a backpack that usually goes in my luggage, and everything I need on stage is in here. Uh, I try not to put anything extra in there, so I can take this bag with me to stage. And it helps me from losing stuff, too, because it happens where you forget cables on stage and adapter or whatever. Um, one thing really useful I got was a guitar toolkit. Uh, added some extras to it, like the battery, electrical tape, Swiss Army knife, but it basically has uh, wire cutters for the strings. Uh, some stuff for setting up, you know, uh, gauges, which you don't really need, but Allen wrenches, screwdriver, flashlight, string winder, and I put some extra strings in there. Extremely useful. Um, I use it quite a bit, but almost every show I play, there's someone there that needs something like that, and I, I usually have it. Uh, I mean, that's just your essentials for going on stage, of course. You know, if you plan out everything else, like clothes and things you need for showering, whatever, it makes it much less stressful, and you make sure you have everything. Uh, it's pretty much 99% of the time when we go to a show or a tour, there's someone there that, oh, I forgot something. But these are the essentials. Um, another one that's really important I found a hard way was... Uh, Keeping your cell phone charger with you at all times. Don't put it in your baggage that's going to go into the luggage on a plane. Keep it in your pocket because uh, you never know. The baggage gets lost or um, you get to the airport, can't find anyone, you have to call someone, your cell phone's dead. So that, I found, is a high necessity as well. Um, but, I mean, this is just like a really standard thing I do. I just make a checklist pack everything. I can pack last minute very easily with a checklist, as long as I know where everything is. And um, it's much, much, just so much less stress. 
otherwise I'm leaving the house off to the airport, whatever, and in the back of my mind is constantly going, there's something I forgot, there's something I forgot. And it'll drive you crazy, and maybe you'll say, no, there's not. But usually you'll go, oh, yeah, I forgot this. And um, it, it just makes things go much smoother. So um, it's pretty logical to make a checklist to make sure you bring everything. But there's a lot of stuff to remember and a lot of stuff that's easy to forget or that you don't think of bringing. Uh, even something like an extra cable, you probably won't need it, hopefully. But when you do, you'll be glad you have it. And it's not much more baggage. I fit mine in my, in my gig bag. Um, another thing I've learned to do is take my, I do it with my bass, you can do it with guitars, easier, is instead of taking it in a hard shell case, which the airline and the baggage handlers will uh, pretty much screw up every time, the, the case is going to get damaged very easily, and chances are the guitar inside. I put mine in a soft uh, gig bag, I've got one that you can wear like a backpack, it's even better, and um, I take them on the plane and use them as carry-on. Here and there I've had some airlines, like Baltic Airlines, they were jerks about it, so I won't use them again. Um, I still got through with it. They, it was actually the plane was so small and crappy, there was no room in the overheads for the bass or the guitars to fit in. But um, if they give you a hard time, you just try to be nice, don't piss them off. Um, but, you know, just explain like, okay, if it's going in the cargo department, they're sensitive, expensive instruments, and it has to be uh, climate controlled. And when they hear that, they'll say no, it gets very cold down there. Then you can usually talk them into putting them in the, there's a closet usually by business class or first class at the front of the plane. They do have room for them if they want to. Um, Baltic Airlines, I think they tried to charge me to bring it on the plane. After I went through, after I was at the gate, they finally, they asked, oh, you have to pay for that. It's like, no, I actually flew there in the same airline with it without a problem. On the way back, they wanted to say that. So I had to check it. And if you have to check it into a gate check-in, um, that's where you're going to the plane, and you, at the plane, you give it to someone. You can actually, if you ask nicely, you can watch them put it on the plane and look really quick in there. Is there stuff, something that's going to shift and fall? Are they putting it down nice? And say when you get off the plane, you're going to see them unload it. Um, be nice to those people because they can screw up your stuff if they want, if you get on their bad side. But um, that, I mean, avoids less hassle with the instrument and also... Um, you don't have a chance of flying to a show, and you get there, and your instrument got lost in another country, which has happened to other bands I know. It happens all the time with anyone's luggage. So those are some things for just preparation before a show that are really helpful and hopefully helps you out.